么也跑到这边来？Wants to come up to you. It's time for an early brunch and I'm going to make a really quick one. My veggie grounds, I keep forgetting to defrost it so I don't have any available. But I do want something more hearty with protein so I rely on beans for that. And a really convenient lunch for me is always to use a canned soup as a base and add in some carbs and some extra beans on top of that and we're good to go. A couple weeks ago, mom and I made sun catchers and I saw this online and I couldn't help myself but wonder what it would look like compared to the little pendants we used. You can kind of see it right there. And this is a proper sun catcher prism. You can see all of the little triangular cuts in it and I cannot help but just I want to put it up already and I don't have the time to make a nice sun catcher right now so I'm just going to string it on top of this spare wire that I had. Ah, I see rainbows everywhere. So I'm just gonna tie it right to the old sun catcher. The sky is finally blue by definition today. So I'm so grateful for this sun. So nearly two hours later, I finished making five masks out of fabric I got months ago and it was because I thought of a friend on YouTube, Nina, when I saw this nice large gingham in a tan or kind of mocha latte and cream color. I decided to make myself some as well and I gave one to my mom. The stupid thing I totally didn't account for when making my other masks was I didn't pre-wash the fabric. So after I'd sew them, finish it, and then wash it before wearing, it would be tight because it didn't shrink beforehand. So I'm learning to do preparations, of course, to always pre-shrink the fabric, press it, sew it, and then press it again. And that's what I've got. So the inside is supima cotton, so it's very fine thread, comfy, and tightly knit. Instead of doing the painstaking elastic band with a matching fabric, because I don't have the right equipment so it's hell trying to make that and that's why it's so time consuming and expensive when i sold them i'm using elastic uh, knit jersey it's really comfortable that's how i'm gonna do it moving forward i don't know how many more i'm gonna sew i have some kind of phases when i really want to make masks and then when i don't so i'll see Bambi is eating his dinner, don't mind Pumpkin, the bed pisser, outside complaining because he wants Bambi's food. I wanted to show you something that came in the mail. When I saw this package, I thought that it was a book that I'm expecting, but it's much too big. Well, it is a book. It is the yearbook, the senior yearbook. It has embossed patterns in it with a very subtle crest at the, in the back, at the bottom. And it basically has every student 
and we got our own page. So it's not really like a yearbook because it's not like we have articles or anything. It's just a senior book. Let me see what page I'm on. Oh my gosh, these are my friends. <laughs> Textiles are near the back. Oh my gosh, there's Kat. <laughs> oh, and Huyman. Oh my gosh, that's Eo. Oh, I miss them. So we're near the back. Oh, Minji. We all had cats, everybody. <laughs> Ashley. Oh, she had a little cat too. Oh, there's me, my cat. Mimi, <laughs> that's us. Let me look. Who's that? If Tyler were around, maybe I can, you know, have the energy to bring both cats, but I had to bike Bambi in my little cat backpack. And then we also got to glue construction paper and they would scan it in and that would be our little backdrop. And then we have an option for a quote. So we were supposed to fill in the sentence blank on the inside, blank on the outside. And I said, feline on the inside, female on the outside. <laughs> Let's see, where, where's Kira? Cute. Ready? Cool. Brief. Thank you all very much, and I'm very grateful for it. 16 years with your mom. Eat. <laughs> so, right before it's good. And this is also a celebration of congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Is it official? You got a piece of paper and something in the mail, or what? Yeah, it's for proud of you <laughs> and proud of myself. Two of, two of them. Oh. So, both. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Help me. Raise up, people. You guys did it very well. Awesome, that. <laughs> wanted to jump in and start vlogging for the last 
month or so i've been up to a lot you know patreon has been really fun it's been like a month and a week and very busy <laughs> i'm kind of just doodling whatever is barfing out of my mind now i'm gonna do a studio cleanup and film a podcast i the, oh yeah the thing about this week is that i'm going to do a lot of things to prepare for my absence i'm going to be gone for two weeks so i can post my stuff on patreon on time <laughs> really liked the king it was quite an adventure to watch and i was very you know with a lot of drama i'm just very invested in finding out what happened i've been going through my patron um one of my perks which is to mail out prints twice a year and i'm doing this one and i actually have some big ones so i'm gonna mail it to like my top tiers Maybe I should bring them for when we're staying in the same place with Rob. Are you a model? Oh, oh, baby. Throw it on him. What mask? Eustace, he'd go like, Ooga Booga! Hi. Hello. My agenda for today is to film a patreon episode because we voted on a project to do and it concerns this sewing machine that i bought and we're going to try out some of the features and just kind of see how it goes it's like an unboxing and first impressions you're heavy he's lost a lot of weight but he's still a hefty boy. Tyler's gonna be my assistant today. I was just hanging out with Bam. He loves his laundry to sleep on. Yes. We finally got these rail, wait, what are these called? Shower hooks. Because for the last six years in our bathroom, we've been using, there's these ones that had rhinestones on them and I thought they were beautiful because I had that aesthetic in high school. So um, I thought they were very elegant looking and they're terrible because after it got old, it would just, every time we try to move it along the rail, it would fall off because there's too much traction. So eventually we finally decided enough is enough and we got these little round ones with the rolly little balls and hopefully that should be an easy fix. Yay, now we won't have to rely on my height to keep putting them back on. Okay, they're not as cute as I remember them to be. Wow. 
I'm going to be trying to move it for this before now. Oh, the little water. An amazing upgrade. Let me help you down. And now she's out of the frame. I'm gonna just insert that out of context. <laughs> what is that? It's a magic trick. It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Are you making kimchi? Mm -hmm. You're not making cake. <laughs> Blue Land, which is the company that makes those dissolvable tablets uh, as like a cleaning solution, they've come out recently with dish soap, laundry detergent. Thank you so much to Blue Land and Sarah personally for sending this to us to try. So it looks like this. So no more, you know, those really heavy jugs of detergent. You can just get these in compostable refill bags. I just felt, I just saw a bunch of her fur fall. And I want to say that you can just throw it in because not every machine has this. So there's one per load. Break means, see, it's still break, not softly love. We still need to wait. Well, mix all the egg on here. You're a good T-shirt, and it's out. Yeah, I'm just so sorry. Maybe it's one treat, huh? No, he ate so much just now. 